वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम ट्वेल्व डैश इलेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द डिफ्लेक्शन एट द सेंटर ऑफ बीम एंड द स्लोप एट बी ई आई इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी देर इज अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए एंड पिन सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी एट पॉइंट ए वी हैव एक्सटर्नल मूवमेंट विच इज एम नॉट एंड द लेंथ ऑफ बीम इज एल सो ड्यू टू दिस लोडिंग दिस बीम विल दिस बीम विल बेंड लाइक दिस सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिफ्लेक्शन एट द मिड एंड स्लोप एट पॉइंट बी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज दैट इफ वी रिमूव दिस सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो विल बी हैविंग रिएक्शन फोर्स विच इज इक्वल टू आर बी एंड सिमिलरली हेयर एट रोलर सपोर्ट इफ वी रिमूव इट सो वी हैव अ रिएक्शन फोर्स विच इज आर ए वन विल बी अपवर्ड एंड अदर वन विल बी डाउनवर्ड सो विल फाइंड दिस बाई यूजिंग equilibrium condition sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is m not which is clockwise and that will be negative the second moment will be r b into perpendicular distance l and it will be counter clockwise and it will be positive but their sum must be equal to 0 so minus m not plus r b into l is equal to 0 so from here you will get आर बी इज इक्वल टू एम नॉट बाय एल नाउ विल फाइंड आर ए बाई यूजिंग इन अदर इक्विलिब्रम कंडीशन एट सम ऑफ ऑल फोर्स इज इलॉन्ग वाई डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फोर्स अपवर्ट इज पॉजिटिव सो वन इज आर ए विच इज नेगेटिव प्लस आर बी सो फ्रॉम हेयर आर ए विच इज नेगेटिव प्लस आर बी विच इज एम नॉट ओवर एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो and we will get r a will be equal to m not by l now you have both m r a n r b so uh, we will use uh, equations of elastic curve can be find by this equation which is e i into d square v over d x square is equal to moment so we will need moment for that what we will do is that we will section the moment at coordinate x when you section the beam at coordinate x this is x here you have r a which is m not by l and when you cut the beam you will be having a shear force v and you will be having a moment let this is your point 1 so we will find this m1 r m by using this equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point 1 is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive we have also m not at this point clear so i will write it uh, minus m not plus m1 which is exter uh, external moment plus m not into n not divided by l into x is equal to 0 this is m not which is clockwise this is counter clockwise and this moment m not by l into x is also counter clockwise so we are interested to find m1 so m1 is equal to m not minus m not into x divided by l and you will get if you take m not common so you will get 1 minus x by l so this is your equation of moment and in a so put this equation in this so you will get e i into d square v over d x square is equal to m not into 1 minus x by l now what we will do is that integrate this equation once integrate it so you will get e i into d v over d x is equal to m not one integration of one is x and integration of x by l is x square over 2 l plus their constant of integration c1 let this is equation number 1 again integrate again integrate equation 1 so you will get e i 
into v is equal to m naught x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l plus c1x plus c2 this is your equation 2 now equation 1 and e equation 2 contains c1 and c2 which mm -hmm. is unknown constant of integration so you can find them by using boundary conditions so first boundary condition is that at x is equal to 0 we have deflection is equal to 0 so you see that here x is equal to 0 we have a roller support so we have deflection will be 0 so what we will do is that put in equation 2 because equation 2 is about de deflection so when you put v is equal to 0 so this term will be 0 and x is equal to 0 so these terms will be 0 so we have c2 is equal to 0 so I will write we will get c2 is equal to 0 okay now the second boundary condition is that at x is equal to l we have v is equal to 0 again you have to put it in equation number 2 so here x is equal to l we have v is equal to 0 because there is a pin support so when you put it in this equation number 2 so you will get this right side of this will be equal to 0 is equal to m naught it will be l square over 2 minus l cube over 6 l plus c1 into l and c2 is equal to 0 so again when you solve this you will get c1 is equal to minus m naught l over 3 let me solve it as well so when you take the lcm of these two it will be equal to this L will cross with this, so we will left with L square. So 6 and this will be 3 L square minus uh, L square into M naught is equal to 0 plus C1 L. So this term will be equal to minus M naught into 2L square over 6 is equal to C1L. So it you will get C1 is equal to M0. Uh, let me write it. So C1 will be equal to minus M0 L over 3. Now you have C1 and C2 value. So what we will do is that uh, put C1 and C2 in equation 1 and 2. When you put C1 in equation 1, so you will get EI into dV over dx is equal to M0 into x minus x square over 2L minus c1 which is minus m naught l over 3 okay so you will get dv over dx which is equation of slope will be equal to m naught over ei into x minus x square over 2l minus l by 3 that this is equation number three is equation of slope now uh, put c1 and c2 in equation number two so we will get ei into v is equal to m naught x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l plus c1 c1 is minus m naught l over 3 into x and c2 is 0 so from here you will get v is equal to m naught over ei into x square over 2 minus x cube over 6l minus 
एल बाई थ्री एंड दिस इज योर इक्वेशन नंबर फोर इज इक्वेशन ऑफ डिफ्लेक्शन नाउ यू हैव बोथ इक्वेशन ऑफ स्लोप एंड डिफ्लेक्शन थ्री एंड फोर सो वी विल मूव फर्स्ट डिटरमाइन द डिफ्लेक्शन एट द सेंटर ऑफ बीम सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ डिफ्लेक्शन फोर सो पुट x is equal to l by टू at the mid in equation number फोर so when you put x is equal to we will get v is equal to m नॉट over e i n l by टू so x square is l by टू over फोर फोर टू एट माइनस एल क्यूब ओवर 48l minus l by 3. So when you solve this, you will get uh, the value will be equal to minus m not l square over 16 e i. So v is equal to minus m not l square over 16 e i now what we will do is that we have to find slope at b so this was the answer of first part so second part slope at b so slope at b is this one so at x is equal to l we have to find slope which is equal to theta b okay so slope at b not equal to 0 so we have to slope at b which is at x is equal to l in equation number 3 because equation number 3 is for slope so dv over dx is again slope so when you put it so you will get theta b is equal to m not over e i and x will be replaced with l so l minus l square over 2 l minus l by 3 so it will be equal to m not over e i and we will left with l minus l by 2 minus l by 3 so if you take the lcm theta b is equal to m not over e i lcm will be 6 so 6 l minus 3 l minus 2 l so it will be equal to theta b and theta b is m not over e i and we will left here uh, l by 6 so theta b will be equal to m not into l over 6 e i so this is the slope at point b and that is the answer of our second part and this was all about problem 12-11 i hope you have learned it and you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about every latest video which i shared on my channel and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching